Hi guys, it's Lisa Jane from Wildcat Fitness here and I am going to be showing you a short abdominal circuit workout that I have put together exclusively for subscribers to the Wildcat Fitness blog. So there are five exercises, we're going to perform them each for 30 seconds back to back and what I recommend that you do is then have a minute's rest and if you can work up to doing the circuit three times over to start seeing improvements in your strength and in your abdominal definition. What would be great is tacking this circuit onto the end of your existing workouts, but if you're pushed for time, then of course something is better than nothing. So it's up to you whether you use this as a standalone ab workout or whether you add it on to your existing plans. So like I say, five exercises, each for 30 seconds. I'm gonna be doing each of them with you. So the first one is flutter kicks. Lie on your back. Legs fully extended, fingertips behind your head or by your temples, elbows wide. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Come up in the upper body, lifting those shoulder blades. Lift the legs and then 30 seconds, flutter those legs. So almost like we're scissoring them here. We're trying to keep the legs as straight as possible, keeping those shoulders off the floor. Nice, full extensions, concentrating the work here into the abdominal area. If you find that it's putting a bit of pressure on your lower back, then you have an option to bend your knees. But still, if you can, try to keep those shoulder blades off the floor, but just nice work here into the lower and middle abdominals. 10 more seconds, and I'm gonna show you the next exercise. So keep that core nice and tight. Remember to keep breathing. Try not to have any tension into the neck. For five, four, three, two, one. So tiny little break and then the next one is bicycle crunches. Hands are in the same position here, but this time you've got your knees bent, taking your shoulder to the opposite knee. So twisting from side to side, nice controlled movement, trying as I say to keep those elbows wide. Try to envisage that it's your shoulder that you're taking to the opposite knee. If this gets too much at any point, you can come down, pop your feet down on the floor, but keep that twisting action going, because what we're trying to do here is target into the obliques, so those side abdominals, shoulder to opposite knee. Again, keep breathing, try to keep tension out of the neck and the shoulders. The higher you make that crunch, the more you will work into that waistline. So again, 10 more seconds here with me, twisting, from side to side. If you really want a challenge, you can speed up for the last five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna bring it onto our front now. So, over we come for some mountain climbers. So hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders. Nice straight line, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Make sure your hands aren't too far forward. Similarly, make sure your body isn't too far forward, no tension through the front there. You come up into what we call full plank position. So your bum is down, chin is tucked in and trying to keep the back as flat as possible. Just bringing the knees up towards your chest. If you need to, you can make this a little bit slower. But what we want to focus on is that lift of the knees whilst keeping the hips low. So we're working through those abdominals. As with the bicycle crunches, the quicker you go, the more you are gonna have a slight cardio effect here. So when we're raising that heart rate and when we're burning calories, obviously that is gonna to help to shed body fat, which in turn will help us see that abdominal definition, but you can work up to a speed that you are comfortable with. So taking those knees nice and high, 10 more seconds here. Just keep it coming, try to keep those hips down, so try not to end up in a downward dog position. The lower you go, the more you use your abs for four, three, two, one, perfect. So, last two exercises. It's actually the same exercise, but we're gonna perform it for 30 seconds. On each side, it is what we call a side plank. So, a couple of options here. If you're a beginner to this exercise, or you have any concerns about your upper body, then I recommend starting on one knee. So you have your shoulder and your elbow in a line, trying not to have that shoulder too far underneath and getting any tension there. Keep that shoulder relaxed. So first option is to be on the bottom knee, on the side of the top foot, 
lifting up through those hips to work through the waistline. This is what we're specifically targeting, this underneath the bleak here. But if you can, if you want an advanced option, stack your feet, so pop them on top of each other and lift up and just hold for 30 seconds. So the higher that you can bring that bottom hip, the more you're gonna be working into that waistline. As I say, if you need an option at any point, come down onto one knee, onto the side of the foot, but make sure you keep pushing those hips high. This is very much for the waist. If you want an advanced option, if this starts to feel not so challenging, you can add a little pulse every time trying to take those hips a little bit higher, but just hold this here wherever you are for 10 more seconds. Again, remember to keep breathing. Remember to keep tension out of that shoulder. Keep squeezing up for five, four, three, two, one, and then straight into the other side. Exactly the same options here. So you can either start on the knee, work up to the toes. You can start on the toes, drop down to the knee if you need to. Or again, if you're advanced, if you've had some experience with this one and you know this is a strong exercise for you, you can start to add those pulses. But wherever you are, you're focusing on lifting the hips, working into that waistline. So keep pushing it up towards the ceiling, keep breathing. This is our last exercise in the circuits. So if you want to, you can add some of those pulses just to really get into that waist. We've got 10 more seconds here, wherever you are. Keep the tension out of the shoulder. Keep breathing, you're nearly there. Work, work, work into those obliques for four, three, two, one. Perfect. So that is one abdominal circuit complete. As I say, if you can, just take a minute's break now and do all of that again. Three times over, two, three times a week, will be enough to really make a difference to your abdominal strength, both your upper, your lower, your mid-core and your waistline. So I've tried to target all the major abdominal muscles there. Brilliant, as I say, if you can add that on to an existing workout, but if not, it's a fantastic standalone abdominal workout. Let me know what you think. Thank you for subscribing to my blog and I will see you guys soon.